Hey y'all, it's December the 15th, 2016, and I wanted to talk to you very briefly about something that's of an urgent matter. It's going to prove to be quite crucial, right? But before I explain uh, the topic that I want to go over with you today, uh, I want to establish a foreground of what has been taking place in America, and let's just keep it very simple and very quick. Uh... For better or for worse, whether anybody likes it or not around the world, and it seems as though a lot of people like it, America, the United States, has chosen, they've chosen a president and they did so resoundingly, they did so overwhelmingly, right, they had been presented two choices in the end, one was a Hillary Clinton, one was a Donald Trump, they absolutely screamed for a Donald Trump. There's many reasons for that. Uh, namely, the biggest reason is that he spits that hot fire. He spits plenty of hot fire. Alright, so America chose. And the thing is, if you look at the crowds that each candidate brought in to any of their various rallies, you'll understand that Donald Trump absolutely won this election by a landslide. Absolutely he did. If you're going to go by the, the, the numbers, simply the numbers that they brought into their rallies, you'll understand that Donald Trump won it a hand over fist. All right. He was leagues and leagues ahead of Hillary Clinton. However, uh, <laughs> our whole system is quite skewed and it's quite rigged just in the way that Donald Trump said that it is. All right. Major, major election fraud took place this year, of the likes of which we've probably never seen before major election fraud took place all over the place. We're talking about dead people voting. We're talking about illegal immigrants voting. We're talking about people voting multiple, multiple times. And all sort of uh, manipulations to the, the votes took place this past election, just in the way that Donald Trump said that they would. However, it did not matter because the landslide of votes in favor for Donald Trump was amazing, probably record-setting. All right, so that's the thing about it. If you're going to have election fraud and you're going to try and cheat the people, it, it is extremely hard to do when it's a landslide. All right. However, uh, the the corporations that own all the TV networks that be lying to people, been lying to people since before I was born, they made they made it somehow. They manipulated the numbers somehow to the point where uh, they told people, and some people believed it. That Hillary Clinton somehow won the popular vote. Somehow won the popular vote by 2 million? She couldn't even bring people to her rallies. All right, just to be brief, I went to one of her rallies. I personally went, and there's video evidence of me there dancing. All right, uh, it was pathetic. It was in San Antonio, Texas. A lot of people don't understand. San Antonio, Texas is a Democrat-ran city, period, all day. Uh, just to put it this way, Republicans don't run for mayor in San Antonio. They just don't. It's all Democrats running against each other. They all agree on the same things anyways. They're all faceless and nameless. It's a democratic city. Hillary Clinton could not bring in more than a few hundred people. San Antonio is a very big city with a lot of people in it. All right. It was absolutely embarrassing and pathetic. All right. She did not win no kind of popular vote at all. In fact, you know, Bernie would have had a way better chance. And, and Bernie is, is an embarrassment all to himself. All right. Uh, anyways. So, they, they lied and they lied and they're going to continue to lie, basically, the, what you're seeing on the television. They're going to continue to lie to you, and, and if you believe just a little bit, then they gotcha. They'll have you believe in all sort of absurdities. Alright, so, that all being said, they say that Hillary won the popular vote. She absolutely didn't. The reason why Donald Trump won the Electoral College is because there was so much demand in every single area that Donald Trump won. There was so much demand for Donald Trump that they, the Electoral Colleges wouldn't have gotten away with it. And they knew that. They knew that they would not have gotten away with putting in a Hillary Clinton because they would have a problem on their hands, a serious one. All right? So the Electoral College wound, wound up having to pick a Donald Trump, and that's what happened. That is what happened. That's what happened. All right? So now we, we fast forward until today. And here's what I wanted to bring up. It's an urgent matter. All right? Hillary Clinton and George Soros and all the people who run Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party, they have not given up. Because they understand that if we have a flicker of hope, if Donald, if Donald Trump creates an ounce of change, then what this will cause is a domino effect and America will have no choice but to stand up 
and say, listen, we we like change, we want change, we're going to have change, and we're going to have prosperity, and we're going to make America great again, whether you like it or not, all right, because we have the power to do so, all right, the people in charge, they want to keep everybody in slavery and in bondage, right, so they cannot have an ounce of hope for us. They cannot give us an ounce of hope. They know how disastrous it would be if we gained only a little bit of independence, only a little bit of sovereignty, so they can't have it. They cannot have it, right? They are not going to go away into the darkness, basically. They are not done here. So, although Donald Trump won resoundingly, for better or for worse, whether you love him or hate him, he won just in record-breaking um, statistics, right? All right, so... They cannot have that. They are going to contest the presidency. They have been contesting it. You have mainstream media talking about the Russians are hacking us. The Russians are hacking us. Oh, they're under the bed. All right. They're not going to give up. Like I said, they cannot give us an ounce of victory because that's going to basically mean their inevitable downfall. So they're not going to give up. They're not going to just let Trump walk into the presidency. It's just not going to happen. And never mind the fact that Trump's already making big moves. You know what I'm saying? He's already bringing jobs back to America. Never mind. And he's not even the president. All right. Never mind all that. Never mind that the stock market is kicking way up because people, their hopes are way up and speculation is looking real good right now because people are excited about Donald Trump being the president. Never mind all that. No, never mind it. All right. These people aren't going to stop. They're going to somehow try and uh, bamboozle a Hillary Clinton or whoever else into the presidency, whatever kind of puppet. And in doing so, they know that they're going to make all sort of people angry. All sort of people angry. There's going to be a lot, there's going to be an overwhelming majority of people in America who are just angry about this. What's going to be done right in front of their faces. And when they get angry, some people are going to do stupid stuff, I'm sure, because there's stupid people out there. Me, personally, I can promise you I ain't going to do nothing stupid. I'm not going to do anything rash. I already see it coming down the pipe. I already see their, their bamboozling, and, and, you know what I'm saying, and their mockery of us, of the American people. I already see it, so it ain't nothing going to, there's nothing riotous that's gonna, that you're going to see from me and most other people who are Donald Trump supporters. You're not going to see that either, from them either. However, you're going to see uh, these... These hoaxes, these fake made up people, these actual actors that you can find on IMDb, and they're gonna be terrorizing people. They're gonna be, they're gonna be shooting up people, uh, or perhaps not even shooting up people. But you're gonna see quite a bit of chaos, just like you've been seeing it. All right, but you're gonna see it on an upkick, and we're talking about between now and the end of the year, early next year. All right, and when this happens, when these hoaxes are manipulated and showcased 24-7 on your televisions that's been lying to you since forever, all right, when that happens, certain people are going to get banned. Certain people are going to get banned off the internet. All right, and certain people are going to be put in prison. All right, or at least this is what's going to be attempted because somehow these figureheads will have um, incited riotous behavior when that's absolutely not the case. Right. When that's all completely and totally fabricated and made up, here's some examples. You got Breitbart, you got uh, the Drudge Report, you got WND. You got, there's a lot of people out there who are very big in exposing the cheating nature, the, the disgusting suicidal nature of the Democratic Party and much of the Republican Party. All right, they're basically the same party. All right, there's there's figureheads like Alex Jones who have been spearheading uh, the idea that maybe America could be great again if we just kind of got rid of the bad people out of it. All right, and these people will be absolutely banned from the internet. They're going to be banned from the likes of the UN and things like that. The corporations can't have it. They're going to ban them off the internet. And they're going to hope that everybody's complicit in that. All right. They're going to hope that the, the revocation of the First Amendment completely and totally is going to go, go over easy with everybody. All right. And when people get angry about that, well, you know, all those people, they're going to be marked as Looney Tunes out of their minds, people. All right. And you're going to have to be very, very careful what you say on the Internet at that point. If they had their way. Right? They love banning people. They love censoring people. They're calling it fake news. They're assassinating people's character almost all the time. Like That's what they do constantly, such as an Alex Jones. And they're calling him out for fake news, saying he's a danger. He's somehow a danger to everybody's health. <sighs> Meanwhile, I've seen fake news on the television and all over the internet for years and years and years now. You know what I do? I ignore it. I avoid it. I look at it and I laugh and I say, this is stupid and fake and made up. That's what I do with fake news. Meanwhile, you have people on the other side who want to ban it. 
what they deem is fake news, what they deem is news that they don't like, that they don't want you to hear. They want to ban it. Get rid of the First Amendment. You might as well get rid of all the amendments. You might as well get rid of the whole republic. All right, that's what they want to do, and that's what they're going to try to do, believe it or not. Between now and the end of the year and early next year, that is what they are pushing for. And anyways, I'll let the link down for you at the bottom. Because Alex Jones is a perfect example. In fact, he's the, he's the first one that they're going to go after. All right? They've been going after him. They've been trying to assassinate his character. They've been trying to call him a Looney Tunes insider of riotous behavior. Meanwhile, they take little sound clips and, and they make him seem like he's outrageous and crazy. Meanwhile, if you watch a whole, just one broadcast from Alex Jones, you realize that no. He's just very upset by all the corruption. He's very upset by uh, these people in high places who do disgusting things. He's very upset by that. There's a lot of people who agree with him. All right, uh, shoot, and they're gonna try and take him out. They've been trying to kill his character. They cannot kill his character. It is not possible, and they know if they kill him physically, well, that'll just make him a martyr and a legend forever and ever. It'll make everything that Alex Jones said to be absolute gospel. So they're, they're, they're doing everything they can to not kill him physically, and they're trying to assassinate his character. And for people who don't have eyes to see, for people who absolutely hate the truth and run away from the truth every time they see it, they're going to totally believe and buy into that Alex Jones is the number one enemy of America, that, that Matt Drudge and the Drudge Report, number one enemy of America. All right, and, and, all, and all these different publications that are going hard in the paint right now, they're the number one enemy in America. Is what they're going to push for. Donald Trump will be banned from Twitter, and he's the number one enemy of America. All right, that's the narrative that they're pushing. Whether or not it's going to work, shoot, I don't know. You know what? The election didn't work out for them, did it? So we're going to find out. We're going to find out just who's banned from the internet. We're going to find out just who's banned from having an opinion here in America. We're going to find out just who's banned for wanting to make America great again. We're going to find out quite soon. All right, and by that time, people will have chosen sides. All right, I wonder what side everybody out there is going to be on who listens to me. This is December the 15th, 2016. I'll holler at y'all. I'll holler at y'all.